Hi. In this situation, you're going to see the SBI framework put into place with an A player. You're going to notice that these frameworks, while helpful and confidence boosting, aren't always needed to be followed. Have a look. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. I understand like to understand the situation a little bit better. Last Thursday's meeting got heated from what I understand with your team and the IT team. Is that, can you help fill me in on that? Yeah, I absolutely lost control. I, I didn't control my emotions and I, sh I should have handled it in a much better situation. But I, I did reach out to both the teams and apologize for the way I handled yeah. it and that it would never happen again. Great. Let me know if I can help you with anything in terms of repairing that, but thank absolutely. you. Absolutely, I'd love the feedback. So what you saw there was the coach or the manager opening up with a question about the situation. An A player becomes very self-correcting. I acknowledge the situation. This was my specific behavior. Here's what I've actually done about it. As a feedback giver, your goal is to challenge or change behavior. I dare say this person is very acknowledging of the behavior, self-correcting even, and you could clearly tell a little nervous and felt bad. Don't need to finish with the model. Don't even need to go to the B or the I. What I'd like to do now is ask Jeff here to play the role of a C player, receiving the same feedback, and you're going to notice how I stick to the model a little bit more rigorously to make sure we get the behavior challenge and change. Let's have a look. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the situation we found ourselves in last Thursday in the meeting that got pretty heated. Mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of understand what your read on that situation was. Yeah, you know, um, the meeting was going well, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, there was, there was a little bit of conflict, and people were attacking each other, and, and there was a real sense of that the entire conversation was lost, and it was this group against this group, and there was an entire, there was an entire battle between them. I want to ask a specific question about your behavior. Okay. It came to me indirectly, but I want to check with you that you use some rather coarse language and maybe went after a team member in an inappropriate mm -hmm. way with some anger and emotion. Um, I want to check in and see if you have the same read on that behavior and what you were thinking there. I don't remember really using coarse language, but I do remember, I, I know specifically who you're talking about, and I was feeling like they were attacking me more so than, you know, me directly, you know, interrogating them in, in the situation. Yeah, and I certainly understand there were a lot of parties involved. Yeah. Putting those people aside, I'd love to talk about you and your behavior. You're my team okay. member. I care about you. I care about our team. I want to make sure that you come up with some techniques to really challenge or change this sort of use of language. I've witnessed, we've talked about this before. Uh -huh. I want to make sure you acknowledge that that sort of occurred and it might be a pattern that you might want to challenge and look at. Okay. I, c I can definitely look at it. I, I you know there's definitely parts that I, I probably mishandled, but I mean, the, the whole situation was awry. Are you aware of the impact that your behavior not only has on you, mm -hmm. but might have on our team in the future? Are you, have you ever connected the dots on the impact of, of maybe it being harder yeah. for us to be working work with as a team? Absolutely. Absolutely. There, what, there is an impact. What do you think the impacts are? Um, you know, I, I think if we're not working together, there's a, there's a loss of cohesion and, and, you know, there's not the trust between you and me and there's not a trust between me and my team. So I, I can definitely see how there is the impact there. Sure. There's also an additional one, right? If you're viewed as someone that's very hostile or hard to work mm -hmm. with, we might have people working around us and actually lose some power in the organization. So I'd like okay. to have you think about your own behavior and the impact a little bit and come back to me with some thoughts on Friday. Let's reconvene. I'd really like to help you work through this issue if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. In this scenario, we saw a classic C player behavior. We found the T word or they. Whenever giving feedback to a C, just listen for it, it's coming. C players love they, they love blame. And even if they're not blaming, they're saying it's all of our problem, boss. What's the issue here? I don't allow that behavior to continue. My goal is walking out of this conversation for this person to specifically and precisely challenge and change a behavior that needs to be challenged. So I put in the impact to help me figure out what he was seeing as the impact of his behavior. And when I heard that, I added a dimension he might not have thought of. That's what I was trying to do. It's not a magic bullet. It's not perfect. But this sort of methodology and framework can be very, very helpful to minimize your own emotion and make sure that this person has the encouragement and motivation to challenge and change their behavior. Hope that was helpful.